the see here hi guys and gals well i hope you're well and it is sunday afternoon and time for a little bit of coffee and a chat with you not a long chat but just say hello touching base i'm sitting in my well it used to be my son's um, first son of dc's bedroom but now it's uh the playroom uh with some of the toys over there and others a bit here and there all over and uh, it's now basically the official playroom but i use that that corner over there for my uh sometimes when i have online uh, online lessons uh, for my spanish classes yeah it was interesting yesterday i was um uh, you can always check him up it's kuru k r o o paul um he uh i've mentioned him before he does uh uh youtube spanish videos and lessons and um he uh, i'm in part of one of his groups so to say and yesterday we had a big zoom session uh, how many people were we about in the 30s or something like that so it's not really it's not really a class i would say it was kind of like a practice lis practice lis listening listening i should learn to speak again uh yeah so practice listening and there was a, a person from mexico who was chatting and uh, i mean i i spoke a few minutes and a few minutes no i didn't speak a few minutes i but very quickly i introduced my he asked me to introduce myself and uh, i did that and you know simple simple things and uh there were so many people of course he was going around and chatting and the whole idea was just basically i guess it, i was almost going to say it was a bit of a publicity thing i guess because he he is a you call a community teacher and he was chatting and really friendly person and it is quite interesting although we were of the 30 people i think we were only three from europe the rest were here and there around the united states and um uh two were from scotland and i was the one on the continental part of europe put it that way and uh yeah i i don't think there were any others but it, it is interesting i mean i've got a class in the in a couple hours because as you know you've or those of you who live in north america have changed um have already passed on to summertime uh so our class is pretty early this afternoon the class i have it's at like four our time over here because we only change our clocks uh to summertime at the end of the month yeah as far as i'm concerned it makes more sense but actually this time it's going to change on uh well the night between saturday and saturday and easter sunday so yeah uh that doesn't make any big difference really in a way yeah so it's been a an interesting weekend up to now having said that i mean we didn't have the grandkids but uh we had my uh, second son of dc and his partner came over and we had we had coffee and chatted and it was it was good you know yeah mm. talking about coffee mm. so this is an espresso um an espresso from nespresso and uh, so it makes small cups as you can see this is not the large uh, american or canadian style cup I'm far from it but it's it's a very nice it's a very nice coffee coffee is something it's a bit like religion isn't it i mean over here i mean uh it, it all depends what type of coffee you drink but it doesn't matter where you are when you hear people they talk about coffee it's like wow yeah uh, wow great and uh, people go crazy about it it's always amusing though because if you think like some of the coffees like in in america when you think at the the endless cups and the, the versions that you're drinking and it's it's a lot of liquid but it's also a very different taste to to when you do it there's dave nicholson uh, who makes the mocha pots as he calls it we call it the cafetiere italienne here but um yeah and they're, they're pretty good every now and then we'll make some i mean i've got some friends that swear by those but again those are the same if you don't have the right just the right amount of coffee or the right grain or the right um yeah the right grain basically uh it'll it, well who has made percolator coffee in their youth 
uh, you know, a percolator coffee, basically it percolates. So what are you doing? If you don't do it correctly, you're going to get all the bitter stuff out of the coffee as well. And with the uh, Italian coffee or mocha pots, if you want to call it that way, it's a similar thing. You've got to be careful how it is, how it's pressed and so on. Otherwise, you'll be pulling out some of the, the bitter uh, taste of the coffee. And you do want a bit of that, but you don't want, you know, just that. So that's one of the things. Uh, I also have, I haven't used that though in now a very, very long time. The, uh, what was it, Bodum's, the press ones, that, where you just basically put the coffee, you put the water, and then and you press down. I was going to say it's it's a variant of filter coffee in a way. But you just press away, um, press down and keep the 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 grains out of the, uh, and then you pull it out or something like that. You, you know what I mean, those of you who've had it. Uh, and they're all variants. I mean, usually variants of one or one thing or another. Yeah, I mean, like I say, it's it's a religion. Over here, I have friends, you know, that basically they would not have, uh, not only, the, it's not only a question of which coffee, but it's which coffee uh, machine which coffee grinder and there's all the question of the pressure and so on and I don't know that much about coffee you know I shouldn't even be talking about it really because I certainly cannot give any lessons to anybody I'm a coffee drinker like everybody else I guess or like a lot of people I did drink a lot of tea at one time I drink less now I drink probably a cup of tea in the day but I was very much at one point a, a green tea aficionado of uh, Chinese, Japanese, Taiwan, uh, uh, Indian, and so on. I had, you know, I had it all. Yeah, it was, it, it, it's good. I mean, it, it, it's really an interesting culture in a way. But it's, a, it's almost, again, it's like a subculture. You know, so many things are like that, aren't they? I mean, especially around food and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just kind of like psyching myself up because uh, I've got this thing at four and I know it's a pretty, uh, it's always intense because we've got to do a lot of chatting. Yesterday, uh, what I was going to start to say though was yesterday, <clears throat> the guy did say something that was interesting. He says, the guys, don't stress out. He says, you know, uh, you, you're here to learn a uh, language, but to have fun as well while you're learning it. And he says, it's, if you're stressing yourself out as in anything, you're your memory is going to go short, you know, and so on. And he was right. But I um, I have checked out something today, something called italki. Basically what it is, again, it's like most people, myself, I mean, if you're learning a language, um, you can get pretty proficient as far as reading and listening goes. But the chatting part is basically, it's basically a thing of immersion or not. And the italki... The yeah, thing is, is that you can actually get the chat. <clears throat> you can choose a person. And in this case, the same teacher is on italki as well. That's why I said it was almost like a an advertisement, what he did yesterday, I guess. Because if you go to that italki, uh, you can get different classes of lessons. But they are actually quite cheap. I mean, if you try and pay for a... Uh, full-time lesson or something you know uh, uh, if you pay for something like that uh, I don't know you'll pay like uh, sometimes you know fifty dollars or fifty francs or third between thirty and fifty francs easily for an hour and it can be more than that uh, and with the that I talky you can get a lot cheaper than that so you know I, I might try it I might I might not it all depends I mean I, I I, I, I do want to try, I try different things. The advantage, I guess, with this italki thing is that you don't have to spend more than you want to in the sense that if it's, if you like it, good, you can do it every now and then. If you don't, well, that's it, just stop. Different to, you know, like if you take a class or think some of the things that I've paid for, you know, which are basically for, for a year and then you have to uh, unsubscribe. You always have to be careful with these things. It's a bit like with the, streaming services you know if you don't unsubscribe it'll just renew itself so you got to be careful with those things yeah okay i see i'm coming up to 10 minutes so i guess i'll stop there anyway i hope that you're all well it was just a hello chat on on sunday so take care 
Hope you have a good weekend and uh, have, all have a blessed Sunday. Bye-bye. DC signing off. Take care.